This week on Jeju A to Z, Todd Thacker takes a brief look at Altura Airfield, an area in Taejong up Sogipo with a sad history of military occupation. It was used as a launching site for air attacks on China and kamikaze raids in the final months of World War II. Jeju Island has always been a strategic location for both marine trade and, unfortunately, in times of war. From the Mongolian and Japanese invasions of centuries past to the more recent occupation of Korea by Japan at the start of the 20th century, the island bears the scars of many military campaigns. One area in the southwest of the island near Sangmori, Daejeongup, is a prime example of this lasting evidence of military infrastructure. Altur, which means a field down under, was once a massive 264 hectare airfield used by Japanese forces. It was the staging ground of long-distance air raids during the Sino-Japanese War, and later used to launch kamikaze raids during the final months of World War II. Much of the construction was done by locals who were forced to labor under miserable conditions. Some 20 decrepit concrete hangars and part of the control tower still sit among rows of cabbages growing in rich soil. In the background is a beautiful view of Sanbangsan Mountain and Halasan Mountain to the northeast, and Songaksan Mountain to the south. In the area is an anti-aircraft emplacement built on a nearby orem or volcanic cone, and an underground bunker which is registered Korea Cultural Heritage Number 312. The provincial government is also conducting research into these military facilities and their history. Currently the airfield is listed as national property and is under the purview of the Ministry of National Defense, though there have been discussions about a transfer back to the province sometime in the future. Todd Thacker, KCTV.